ACC football kickoff coming to you live from the Westin in Uptown Charlotte. We are getting into the latter portion of our day, but still a jam-packed guest list coming your way, including the guests that we have on set right now, a fan favorite and a favorite, I think, of everybody sitting on this set, quarterback. Brennan Armstrong with NC State. That sounds a little different rolling off my tongue. I'm not going to lie. I had to check myself and make sure I was saying it the right way. But Brennan, we're so happy for you. You've gotten to cover your career up close over the last couple of years. And now to see what you're able to do with your old coordinator. What was that first practice back like with Coach and I? I mean, shoot, I would say just going into the new office and seeing him there. Like, <laughs> that was a weird feeling. I, I kept that. People asked me, I was like, how did you feel? I was like, I don't even know. It was just weird. Yeah. It's a weird feeling. I'm in a new place with a sim or similar face, but it's just, it was a weird feeling. But no, like we picked up right where we left off. Um, you know, spring practice was great. We're just trying to, you know, figure out who's, you know, who's going to be in what positions and just trying to solidify some spots here. But uh, no, it's uh, it's good to reunite, but it's good to be at NC State Wolfpack now. So yeah. Let's back up just a little bit. Talking to Coach during, he, you know, everybody thought, hey, Coach and I's in, so Brennan's in. But he said it wasn't like a slam dunk as far as coming out of the portal. What what process did you go through to finally end up at NC State? Well, I would say, you know, Coach and I being there sparked my interest in NC State right away. Um, got to, got a chance to go visit them, talk to Coach Dorn. Um, playing in the ACC, I knew how close NC State was to being at the top. They're just a few games away, one game away um, from getting to that, you know, uh, championship game. Um, so when I talked to Coach Jordan, I felt, I felt like the culture was kind of built. You know, him being there for like, what, 11, 12 years now? Yes. Uh, the culture's been built. Um, I was just a piece that they needed for the offense. I felt like uh, Coach Gibson built the defense's foundation to be very solid. Guys know what to expect on defense there. Right. And they just needed something on offense, you know? Um, and with the coach and I coming in, I thought my familiarity with the, the offense was a great fit for me. Um, and yeah, so I just felt like it was the right fit for me. BA, right. transferring like you did, which I think was a great decision. How has the community there in Raleigh receptive you? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's been good. I mean, it's a big city. It ain't like Charlottesville. Charlottesville was more college town. But um, yeah, Raleigh seems to be, it's a great place, I think. I, I could see myself living there. But uh feels like they've been receptive of me. And, you know, I think I still got to, you know, earn my stripes there. You know, I don't think the pass really does it for them. I think I got to, you know, throw the Wolfpack uniform on and, uh, you know, show them what I can do. And that's fair enough. I know that's my job. And uh, to go out there and win games, I think that I'll, I'll win them over. I think I'll win them all over after that. You were throwing up the Wolfpack sign pretty naturally, yeah. though. Yeah, 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 he's got it down already, Mac. <laughs> it feels yeah. good, right? You know, yeah, it it's, it's something good. that is, uh, you know, it's interesting, this whole new world, man. And, and you just said the uniqueness of, you know, meeting back up with your old coordinator and the success that you guys had perfecting that offense, whatever you call it, how yeah. unique it was. Uh, we, we've heard from your, your coach, your head coach, and Dave Dorn, but I want to hear from you, man. What makes that offense so hard to stop and so fun to play in? So as a quarterback perspective, I think just the freedom that I have, um, he kind of, and I think Coach and I knows what he's getting out of me, and I kind of know what I'm getting out of him, so that's great connection between us two. Um, I would say his ability to just put guys in position to be successful, and I think you know, even though it's a first year, the way he teaches the offense, we're able to get guys in spots, them understand what they're supposed to do, like, very quick. I don't think we overcomplicate things with so much information. I think we keep things very simple and guys just get there, get to their spot and start going. And that allows people to play fast, allows an offense first year in to play well and uh, had to have success. Um, and so I think that's what he does well, is just guys in spots to be successful, the less information, the better, in a sense, just to, so you're able to play fast. And so he does that both really well, I think. Who's going to be Keaton Thompson? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I could, I'm not going to – no, I don't know who that's going to be. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Well, who, are, who are some of the skill guys that uh, you work with? That, that I mean, I'm working like. with everyone. You know, I think the fall camp's going to really decide because we were super generic in spring. We didn't do much. We try to keep guys in spots uh, that they were familiar with. I think in fall camp we're going to start cranking it up a little bit with – a lot of motions, a lot of spots, putting guys in different spots just to figure out everything. Um, and so I'm really looking to fo for fall camp, uh, looking forward to it just because uh, we have to see who gets to step up, honestly, because we're getting, we're getting closer to game time. Right. 
When you talk to your, your coaches and your teammates that you've played with, everybody talks about the kind of leader you are. And I know at Virginia, you had the, the opportunity to really grow into that. I'm sure you're already doing that at NC State, but you're also the new guy. What's that balance like trying to figure it out? It's, it's a different balance, you know, being an, the older guy on the team, but newer to the team. Um, I felt like I just took a, in a sense, of like a freshman approach. I just, when I first came in, I just worked super hard, was consistent, and stayed disciplined the entire time. And I would hear, say things here and there, just to talk and chat, and get, let guys get to know who I am. And then I feel like knowing the offense was a good connector with the guys, just being able to talk with the offense about the guy or with the receivers. And then um, spring ball started to jump into that vocal role. And I think fall camp, I'm going to start cranking it up a little bit more. I don't know if they really uh, understand the fiery guy that, I'm, that has inside of me yet. I really haven't showed it. So I don't want to shot guys on like game one if I get fired up. So I think I'm going to start showing it, showing it a little bit more in fall camp and just kind of creating that urgency and confidence on the offensive side. So, yeah, you guys have a solid defense coming back as well. Yeah. Aiden White's here. Peyton Wilson's here. I mean, when you look at that side of the ball, who has kind of been a pest for you throughout the spring? I mean, the whole, the whole defense, I'm going to be honest with you, just the scheme they play, it makes it tough to throw the ball in. Um, and then just the three guys up front that they have are really skilled, so they can get pressure on the quarterback just rushing three. And then we got linebackers that are flying around. It's just, it's tough. And it makes us, it makes us work in practice, let me tell you. It's, it's a tough practice every day. You got to come out, be ready to go. Um, I couldn't pinpoint who. It's just the entire thing. And just the confidence they play it with. You know, when they're out there, they're confident. And that's what you need as a defense, too. So. Well, it's tough because coach gives them the script. I mean, it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. They're cheating. True. Yeah, yeah. I hate it. I Honestly, hate it. I do feel like some of the times they just schemed us up. <laughs> they know. Just, they there's know. There's no, there's coming no on way that's, yeah. that's right. real. There's no way that's Y'all used real. to do that, coach. That's right. Speaking of coach, <laughs> speaking of coach, you probably had an opinion of him from afar, not playing for him. Now you're playing for him. Is he different than what you thought? Uh, I would say just it kind of, like I said, he kind of fits my style. He's super like blue collar, just kind of hard, hard working guy, and he expects that out of his players. And you know, he demands a lot of us, a lot of us to be you know the best of the best. And um, I just think, I don't know, he's pretty chill, honestly. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get too fired up. Like he just kind of stays pretty chill about things, and it's kind of cool. I'm pretty used to that with an I'm sure you'll see him snap it. So. Yeah, I'll probably see him snap on the sideline eventually, but that's part of it. That's right. That's part of the game. So. That's right. Well, BA 2021, you were one of the top quarterbacks in this conference. Yeah. How big of a chip on your shoulder do you have in this 2023 season to get back to that? Huge chip. I know. I mean, that's just that's what I want to get back to. I think if I'm playing well, the team's going to be winning games, and that's bottom line. Uh, individual stuff doesn't matter. If I do my job, we're going to win games, and then all the rest of the stuff will take care of itself. So that's just kind of what I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to is winning games here. Oh, I thought you were looking at me because you wanted one more, so I was going to give it to you. I have one more because I'm just looking at your schedule, and you guys start on the road. I was trying to be a good teammate because I thought that meant you wanted it. Uh, you start on the road, but then you played in all of these ACC stadiums before. You know what it's like to play at Carter-Finley when it's rocking. You're going to get that week two big game. Have you thought about what it's going to feel like to walk out there as a starting quarterback for your final year? I haven't. It. It's going to be weird. It's such a weird feeling. Uh, being my first time running out that tunnel with the crowd there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to like just take it all in, and then I know i got to focus back up, let that emotion kind of settle out, and then focus up for the game. I've, I've dealt with that roller coaster of you know getting super excited to run out to the tunnel and then simmering it back down for the game. So I, I think I'm pretty experienced with handling those emotions, but it's going to be weird this time just because of the scenery and then the team I'm for now. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm super fired up about it. i got a quick question. I know last year was tough. Yeah. I remember watching games that you were playing in, and I could just see the pain in your face because of the struggles that you, you were having as a team. And I know it was probably the hardest time in your athletic career. Mm -hmm. You know, do you think you grew from that? Do you think that helped you in any way in the long run? 100 percent. Um, there's highs and lows of life. I mean, that's how it was one season to the next, highs and lows. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it kind of puts a chip on my shoulder. Uh, it was frustrating. I'm not going to lie about it. It was very frustrating because you want to be successful. Right. And you're the quarterback of the team. You want to be successful. You want to be productive. And so a lot of it falls on your shoulders. You feel the weight of it on your shoulders. Um, it's done. It's over with. Uh, I learned from it. I think I'm pretty grateful just from the entirety of maybe not the performance, but the entirety of the season of what happened. I've been very grateful right. for just the opportunity to play again. Right. Uh, you know, 
with you don't get many chances, uh, and it can be taken away from you instantly. So, uh, yeah, I'm just looking into this season, super grateful, excited for the opportunity, and uh, like you said, a chip on my shoulder to prove, prove something. I know that Charlottesville community is always going to be behind you. Now you're going to have the rally community behind you as well. We can't wait to see what you guys are able to do. It starts on August 31st against.